Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at a question by Buddy uh, Nesmith, W4NES. An interesting question. He likes old radios. I own quite a few older power supplies for Collins, Swan, Tentec, Astron, etc. What is the best way you have found to test these supplies under load without risking damage to transmitter and transceivers? Well, first I'm going to mention that you want to avoid damaging the power supplies. These older power supplies have filter capacitors in them that are notorious for changing value with age. And so what you're going to want to do is open these things up and change out the electrolytic capacitors in there. Um, there are uh, newer capacitors you can put in there uh, that will allow you to get what you want. There is a magazine called Electric Radio at ermag, that's E-R-M-A-G dot com, ermag. Um, you ought to look into subscribing to that magazine because it's got a wealth of resources for these older things and rebuilding them. Now here is the danger of not replacing those capacitors. You could destroy the transformer. Draw too much current and destroy the transformer. And the reason you don't want to do that is because those old transformers are nearly impossible to replace. Now you can, if you know how, and I don't, uh, rewind them. But uh, that's a very tedious process and will take you a long time. Uh, you'll be working at that forever. Now um, to test them, usually you just test the voltages. Now note that some of these, have, some of these, all of these uh, that are for tube devices have high voltage. High voltage can be lethal. You should keep one hand in your pocket. You should be standing on a rubber mat and uh, use the probe from a, a high impedance uh, input like a vacuum tube voltmeter. Some of the newer uh, test gear like this will go up pretty high. Uh, this will go in voltage up quite a few hundred volts if you want to. This is a Tech Power TP9605BT. Uh, they, are, they are constantly updating these, so I'm sure that that model number is obsolete. Now, one of the things about these power supplies is that they tend to be what I call soft. If you put a load on them, like from a radio, you will find that the voltage output will drop as the current output uh, goes up. This is part of old radios. It's just part of the way they work. Now, if you have recapped both the power supply and the radio, the radio itself also has capacitors and resistors that change value with time, okay? And you want to go through before you even apply power to a radio to recap the bigger electrolytics. And then um, you can uh, get that, you attach the power supply to it and you're doing fine. Now, a lot of older radios have power supplies built in. So you've got the big power transformer, which is what makes the radio so crazy heavy um, it's because of big giant transformers in there. So the whole thing about restoring old equipment, first, safety. You're dealing with lethal voltages in there. Uh, I would recommend that you not do it alone. Uh, have a safety observer whose sole function is to call 911 if you have a problem. Uh, also to be able to unplug the power supply uh, without touching anything. Do not let your safety observer pull you away from the wire because if you do that, he can get the same shock. So be careful. 
with these old things. There's a reason that everybody uses transistor gear today, and it has to do with these side lethal voltages. Now, if you are working with amplifiers, uh, a number of tube amplifiers are still sold. Transistors are very slowly overtaking these, but transistor amplifiers are still uh, quite a bit more expensive than the tube type. Usually these tube type amplifiers these days have uh, built into them a power supply. So to get a load on these things, you've got to remember that the output current on the high voltage is measured in milliamps, not amps. Unless, now if you're going to do a 1,000 watt uh, amplifier, you're going to see 2,000 watts uh, of plate voltage go into those. See how you really need to be careful with them. And if you check out that ER mag, you can find some very interesting articles about um, handling these old power supplies. Now, the, uh, I've never seen an Astron that is uh, more than just uh, 12 volts. But if you've got a real old one that would work, the same things apply. So I suggest caution. I suggest a good voltmeter that will go up to that voltage that you are testing there. And that's usually how these things are tested. Uh, be very careful with the capacitors, the electrolytic capacitors in the filtering circuit. If those go bad, they'll smoke or even explode on you when you apply power. There is a way to bring them up slowly to help them reform into the proper capacitance. But um, I'll let you look up things like that on the internet. Uh, for most people, they have rigs that run at 12 volts. Even my amplifier runs at 12 volts, although at 75 amps. That's a very, very big power supply here. It's a 75 amp power supply that is matched to this uh, right here. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel financially, you may do so by going to decastlercom support. And until we next meet, 73.